Oh, what's going on? Welcome back. Six of eight in the queue. Well, we're doing the YouTube voice because we're ending the YouTube video that we were recording simultaneously. So you are actually correct that it was, in fact, the YouTube voice. So is this right now as we jump on into a vintage cube draft. So six of eight. Six of eight. Cl close to seven of nine from Star Trek. I don't know if you guys, you guys remember seven of nine. Seven of eight. It's even closer. And nothing exciting here, unfortunately. I guess it's not unexciting. It's just not power, you know? So we have Teferi. We could build around Omnath. We could do this. We could do this four color nonsense. Um, we have Chandra and Call of the Ring. Those are the cards that really appeal to me. Omnath, Call of the Ring, Teferi. Maybe Chandra. And then there's a Swaggy Bay, too. Swaggy Bay. This pack does, does kind of suck. <laughs> oh, interesting, interesting. Call has really impressed me. I don't maybe we don't want to draft black. Let's try let's take Omnath and try something a little different. Let's mix it up a little bit. We can take this Ketria Triome, which is exactly the colors. No, we're going to take Treachery. I'm sorry. <coughs> I misspoke. <laughs> I said Ketria Triome, and I meant Treacheryome. That's, uh, it was, uh, it was a misspeak, you see. And if one of these, if, if either of these two come back, I'll be very grateful for it. Steam Vents is great. We can just take that here. I would take Leovold, but he's black, and it's the one color we are not right now. And I don't feel like branching into five colors when we're trying to Omnath here. I'm going to take this and I'm probably going to take, oh, wow. They were going to give me the Leovold anyway. They were like, take this Leovold. You stupid idiot. Oh, Plateau. I do like a Plateau and I think taking all the on-color dual lands are probably pretty important. They're just going to make our fetch lands that much better. So... Teferi means only you get to play magic. That's a good point. That's a good point. I think Katie died. I think she fell asleep up there. She probably fell asleep at her desk. She she probably turned the stream off to watch more Orange is the New Black. Oh yeah, first pick Omnath. Well, we're here for a good time, not a long time, you know? Not real death, though. Just just sleep death. You know, you know the sleep death. Plateau and a treachery deck. No, no, it's a treachery and an Omnath deck. Get it correct. Get it correct. Also, there's a there's a card. I'm gonna make a video. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna try to make it tonight, and I'll post it tomorrow. Um, about my favorite Lord of the Rings cards for the Vintage Cube, and I have a stack of them right here. These are all the cards that I've been considering for my own cube from Lord of the Rings and Lord of the Rings Commander. And one of them, oh, Scrubland would be good if we weren't, you know, all this. Could be Nyssa, could be Cauldra Complete, because I do like picking this guy up in hopes that we pick up a Stoneforge. I think grabbing this guy early is pretty good. Could also be Suspicious Stowaway. That's just a solid creature that's that's going to do some looting for us. I think we'll take Stowaway here. Savannah, beautiful. Full on Rob moment. We'll take this Savannah. Oh, Marsh Flats? It's funny we get the one the one the one fetch land that is uh not that's black, right? Oh, no, actually, Rick, there's more than one fetch land that's black. <laughs> okay. Uh I'm just gonna take a Tali because I think it's friggin' awesome. It's a super sweet card. It's fun to play. Everybody wins. Could be Tribuilder. Could be Raging Ravine. Let's sort these by mana value. Yeah, Marsh Flat's still pretty good. It still gets Plateau and Savannah. It's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Um, could be Sun Titan. 
I think it's just Sakura Tri Builder here. It could be Raging Ravine, but I'd rather have more blue centric lands. What's our what's our plan here? Blue blue green base maybe. Oh, call of the ring came back. Jeez. Wow, this card's been fantastic every time I've picked it. I'm gonna take Force of Vigor for the sideboard. I think that's totally fine. Night of Night of the Night of Autumn seems good. The Ketria Triumph did not come back. Showdown seems great for us. Uh, I'll just play Hero of Bladehold. That's just a beater. So one of the cards that I really like from Lord of the Rings Commander is called Fealty to the Realm. It's one of the commander cards. It is an enchantment aura. Enchant creature for five mana, four and a blue. When Fealty to the Realm enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Great. The monarch controls enchanted creature. Okay, so basically, it's like Palace Jailer, but you steal the creature instead of uh, exiling it. However, it says enchanted creature attacks each combat if able and can't attack you. So even if they become the monarch again and get their creature back, the enchantment stipulates that it just can't attack you. So, I don't know. Seems pretty good. And even if you have to, like, slam the creature into, like, one of their bigger creatures. Oh, wow. Cauldra and Nyssa both came back? <sighs> I'm going to take Nyssa. I think it needs to... I think it needs less things to work well. Oh, wow. I actually like Guardian Scale Lord a lot, too. And Green Sun. Green Sun gets Omnath. Oh, boy. All right. This is just... This is just four-color good stuff right now. Come on. Any color but Mox Jet. Or Ancestral, or Time Walk, or Lotus. Those are the things we want to open. Probably not going to play. I think double-colored double, double colored cards are not as good. I mean, when they cost five or six or seven, anything below five is probably just a little too restrictive. <sighs> All right, well, we'll see. I have no idea if this deck is even going to work. I just wanted to do something that wasn't hyper-aggressive. Hyper Hyper-aggressively competitive, I guess. Okay, we did not get those power... Power pieces that we were we were referring to. Uh, we have a tal one Talisman that is not our color. One Badlands that is not our color. One Hierarch that is not our color. I will take Solitude, because it's a fantastic, fantastic card. And probably the best card for us in this pack... That is our color. Talisman of Unity seems great here. Second picking a Talisman. We're passing a Batter Skull. We could have had both Batter Skull and Cauldre Complete, but we're going to go with the Talisman here. Two of our two of our colors here. Oh, young Dingo, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. What a what a saint. What an actual saint. How did the Zealous deck go? 2-1, and we lost in the final round to like 19 counter spells. So good times. <laughs> that's, that's an excellent emote. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, Rogren Triome. That's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous land. We're gonna put that in this. In this little stack over here. If we can't get a Ketria Triome, Rogren Triomes, just just a just a step down, you know? Right down the street. Sakura so Tribal is questionable here only because we don't know how many basics we're going to be even playing sometimes the decks like this you have like 15 non-basics and then you're like i guess i'll have one forest and one plains we're definitely taking windswept teeth for obvious reasons it gets almost every one of our lands so far and presumably it will get many more eh, if we're going to take survive Trime, i'd rather just have celestial colonnade because they're both only two colors here but colonnade is actually a a solid beater 
Colony also helps us cast Suspicious Stowaway, which is better than the the what the, what the white and the red are going to do on Savai Triome. So, you know. Courage just asked me to play Diablo with them. And I'm like, I'm literally streaming. And Doth the Triumph, another another Swampers. Uh, two Gideons. Tamio. Does Tamio do anything that we really care about in a deck like this? Return a card. I mean, returning a card could be f actually decent. Is it decent enough? Probably not. Yeah, Kurt, I, I told him that, and Kurt's like, so just start playing Diablo. <laughs> okay. Solid, solid idea. I would like cards that cost less than four here, but... I think this Gideon's actually probably fine. Double white, like I said, I don't want... I think Gideon's probably better than Hero of Bladehold. This strikes me as a deck that wants Planeswalkers. Talisman of Impulse seems good. So does Ren and Realmbreaker. Also, there's Golos. Golos actually could be pre pretty good. You know you want top. You know I do not want top. You are, you are well aware of how little I want top. <sighs> Is it Golos here? I don't know. I think Ren and Realmbreaker is probably pretty good. It lets us tap for any color. I think it's the I think it's the I think it's probably the second best choice for us right here. Oh, I love a Mystic Confluence. I also love a Talisman of Curiosity too. On color talisman. I don't think we're I don't think we're countering things. I think we're wanting to tap out. I I hate picking a talisman over a Mystic Confluence, but I'm trying to respect the deck's desires, you know. <laughs> uh Sigarda is fascinating. I think four is kind of a sweet spot for us because we're going to have Tri-Builder and Talismans to hit four. Like a turn early. And obviously, we're, I think we're going to open a Mox in the next pack too. So we're going to go land Mox Talisman on turn one and then turn two, we're going to play our four drops. Like like an Omnath. Hmm. I'm still going to take this Batter Skull now that, it's, now that it's gotten here because maybe we get a Stoneforge. Who knows? Um, Invasion, Olvenwald Oddity. None of these cards are exciting. I'll just take Burst Lightning, whatever. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? It's a solid sideboard option, you see. Uh, oh, Corsair of Crufix, fantastic. Also, does Soul Herder do anything here? Blink Omnath, Blink Knight, Blink Solitude. Actually, Soul Herder might be the pick. Let's go Soul Herder. And we can also build around that too. We can pick more things. Blink Atali. Yeah, I'll take a I'll take a fat Gideon. Look at this double Gideon. That's pretty good. Alright, so what were you, were you saying? An Ancestral, Time Walk, or any of the four mocks that are that are our color. That's what we're looking for here. Oh, the one ring, eh? None of those, none of the things I mentioned are here. It's like you're not even listening to me. On color talisman, though. Man, that's sad. Our turn one dream of of talismaning is over. There's only creatures, right? Another creature you control. Sure, of course. Could just be Sylvan Library. I feel like the smoothing is is probably gonna be relevant here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're a ring deck. I don't think we have a ton of ways to really mitigate the damage that ring is going to do to us. Oh, a channel. Boy, I'm a sucker for a channel, but probably not here, I bet. Probably not here. It's not a channel deck in any way shape or form. Um, might be Kinnon. It does make our talismans tap for for 3 or 2. We'll get the numbers right. Math is hard. 
Uh, we can also make Urza, which lowers the cost of instant sorceries and artifacts. Which we have uh, quite a few of. I think maybe two. Good amount. Good amount. Yeah, it's probably just Kinnon. It's not really exciting, but actually it might just be Elite Spellbinder. That's also good to blink, too. Yeah, let's take Elite Spellbinder. So Goth Triumph. All the Triumphs we hit now are probably going to be uh, have a black in them, so that's that's unfortunate. Also, we just got Might and Weakstone. We just passed the Nerza, so that's interesting. It might just be Noble Hierarch here. Could be Talisman of Creativity. Could just be Might and Weakstone and hope that Urza comes back. I just don't think it's very good on its own, to be honest with you. And I don't think Urza himself does much for our deck. So I'm actually kind of interested in Noble Hierarch here because it does let us play three drops early. Yeah, let's take Noble. Nobile. Oh, Temple Garden seems great here. We do have a Savannah, but our deck seems like it's totally fine if we have an abundance of good uh, green and white sources. Yeah, that's easy. Oh, Volcanic Island also seems like a pretty easy pick here, too. Pest Infestation. Now we have Steam Vents and Volcanic Island. And the only red-blue card we have is Omnath, so it's not an it's not an awkward overlap where like we're trying to cast things off of each other. I would like a land, a fetch land that can get Volcanic Island or like Temple Garden. But alas, poor Yorick. I think it's just Metamorph here. Thrain Dynamo is not looking great. Pentad Prism. Actually, Pentad Prism might be fine. It does let us go from two to five, which could be important. We don't have a ton of other tricks with it, whereas Metamorph, you'll be able to blink it with Soul Herder, which actually seems like a pretty sweet interaction. Oh, Coalition Relic. Wow. Okay. That's... That's fantastic. <laughs> okay. I'm game. Um, I do actually kind of like Mind Collapse... This might be just spell pierce though. I do like a spell pierce better, and we're kind of minimally red. I'll take a spell pierce for the board, the board arena. Phantasmal image, you cannot do not try to blink. Um a phantasmal image with soul hurt. I believe it targets. Yes, it does. It could just be Jace here. Could be Mana Confluence, but I do kind of worry about taking the damage from Mana Confluence. We have enough playables, so I'm just going to take it anyway. I am a little sad that we only got one fetch land. Because those are literally <laughs> the best the best thing you can do with, uh, with Omnath. And that was one of the main goals, was to like... Take advantage of first pick Omnath, but here we are. So you need like one cut. It's probably going to be, yeah, it's probably going to be Batter Skull. Seems like an easy cut there. Green Sun gets uh, Night of Autumn, Omnath, and Sigarda. That's also not super impressive. I can see playing something else over that as well. I'm pretty sure we can find one pick. <laughs> also, we have a bunch of creatures that go well. Even Guardian Scale Lord is actually kind of decent with uh, Soul Herder because you can just keep putting the backup counters on things. Yeah, I don't think Fast Bond's good in this deck. If we had, um, like, Courser or Augur of Autumn where you can play lands off the top of our library, I think it's it's much better. But, yeah, Fast Bond, when you're just literally playing fair lands, it's not really super convincing. The Kinnon came back. Also, Wrath of God, but I think we're actually trying to, to, to have creatures. This actually seems much better now that we have Coalition Relic and Noble Hierarch. So I'm actually taking this. There's going to be a Might and Weak Stone in the next pack. Oh, it wasn't there. But we do have a Zagoth Triome for blue-green. And we don't have a blue-green land. We could also take Waterlog Grove. But we also have Mana Confluence now. I'm going to take the Triome. Both are going to deal... I'd rather have a land that doesn't deal me damage than a land that does. I'll take Charter Course. 
Wow, that's a leap through the breach. People have no respect. All right. Well, I might even play Inspiring Vantage. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? So this is 23, and I think we're pretty okay with this 23. How's our mana looking? Okay, so sort by color. Oh, that's that was a nightmare. Don't sort by color. Sort by mana value again. And we'll go here. And look at your color this way. Okay, that's better. Okay. White, blue, black, red, green. So 13, 6, no black, so that's easier. 4 and 11. So we're definitely white green. We're a white green deck for the most part. Okay. Um for mana. I don't know what we're doing. I'm just thinking I'm just sorting these so that I can see them a little easier. Uh for white sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot. Blue, we have one. Windswept Teeth, you get a blue. Oh, Windswept Teeth actually gets Triome, which is pretty good. It also gets raw, it gets both Triumphs. Um, so one, two, three, oh, blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually also really good. Red, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, also seven. Green, one, two, three, four, five. That's, that's the worst one. All right, so we're going to play all of these, I imagine. And then we still get six lands. So I would say three green, and that's also good because you want green on turn one for these guys, or for Noble Hierarch specifically. Um, I don't, maybe one planes, and then one island. I think seven red sources, plus we have Coalition Relic and Sakura Tribelder. It makes me do wonder if we just want one though. Three, four, five, this is also six. That's too many. I actually, don't know if we need a white. We have eight white sources. Wait, we do get six. What am I talking about? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's perfect. That's exactly, that's great. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, this looks sweet. Oh, that's not the button. All right. No, you. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. And it also has a nice late game ability. Leave the top five, put an onion creature among them into the battlefield. So we put a Tali, Guardian Scale Lord, Solitude, Metamorph, Omnath, Sigarda. Chart a course could also be good. I mean, I I'm, there's a lot of cards that could be good here. I think Hero might be fine. Titania is not so great <laughs> when you only have Windswept Heath. But I think the goal is one drop into land into three drop. So like a Ren or a Coalition Relic. And then a four drop. Or turn two of this into four drop. I will play first. Well, that is a Noble Hierarch on turn one. Is that good enough? How much damage are we taking from this? I feel like this is not good enough. This is probably much better. I will keep it. And I think we'll pitch... Um, so we can go land, land, into Talisman, into Noble Hierarch on turn two. So we can get rid of Triome, I think. This is white, white, blue, blue. Yeah, we'll get rid of Triome. Actually, Triome is just better than Island here, right? We just played on turn one. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, that's better. So now we go this into this. I'm also going to 
gonna restart after this. Okay, I, I, I drew an Inspire Vantage, I played a Talisman, and then I played a Noble Iric, and I forgot to unpause, so you guys missed like a brief second. Oh, they got a Cradle, a Lotus Petal, a Tinker, and a Dark Devs. There's a lot going on here. This is a lot to process. It's just Gideon here, right? It's not the most exciting option, but it is an option. Next time we can play both of these. If we draw Omnath, we can play Omnath. And then we can play Tri-Builder and crack it for that extra land value. They could just play Lotus Petal for free every turn. Which basically just makes us a Mana Dork, right? <laughs> Seems fine. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Crater Huff. Fascinating. I mean, I guess we're just letting them kill Gideon here. What in the earth? We block three, Gideon still takes four, so yeah, I guess you got him. Oh, that's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit one more land, we can play that. That beautiful baby. So we can go one, two, and then we have blue. Yeah, so we're gonna go tri -Belder. Blue, white, this guy. All right, we're going to blink our Noble Hierarch here. Get get bigger. I want to get bigger, bigger, bigger. So four cards in hand. That's a lot. Metamorph. Copying Crater. <laughs> Okie dokie. Is that dead? Are we, are we dead? 8, 16, that's a lot. Phenomenal. Cool. This is 20 damage. If we block two, we survive. Okie dokie. Go to one, unless my math is terrible. All right. Spin the wheel, I guess. Okie dokie. Mox and Ren and Realm Breaker. <laughs> yeah, um, these guys don't have trample anymore. We don't have a land that's untapped, though. So we literally, like... We literally die to the stray. That's hilarious. Why don't you untap a land, you stupid idiot? That's frustrating.
I mean, I'm pretty sure we just lose here, but. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Amazing times. Force of Vigor definitely coming in when we've seen Emery and Phyrexian Metamorph. Oh, we can take Showdown of the Scalds off. Spell Pierce could be pretty good too, actually. We saw Natural Order. I'm okay with playing 41 because of that. Yes. Wow, Noble Hierarchs for days. Again, we'll keep this because we get to go Colonnade Talisman Hierarch. Well, it's, it doesn't, it gets us a lot on turn two. And then we have access to Knight of Autumn. We have access to all three of these. And Soul Harder with Knight of Autumn or Metamorph is pretty good. Yep, that's a good one. Boy, oh boy, they're having a good time. Our turn two is almost as good, right? I presume they're going to keep two mana up to make make a construct. Aggressive. Well, a land here would have been would have been great. However, no boy, no. So land next turn's good too, because we can play Soul Herder, Sylvan Library, and Blink the Knight and kill their construct. Or any of these lands. Pretty sure they're just gonna. Well. Mm, great. Oh, they're gonna draw two. That's actually much better. <laughs> I was afraid they were gonna kill this, which really puts us in an awkward spot, but they did not. So now we get Soul Herder. And if we hit any land, we can also play Sylvan Library here. Got a Phyrexy Metamorph. Great. That's a good one. All right. Living the dream. So we're going to go green. This for Sylvan. Two, three for Soli Boy. No, oh, Guy's Cradle. One, they might just not have much left. I'm hoping that they're running out of gas. That would be cool. Yep, maybe not. It's always, I'm going I'm to be honest, it's kind of frustrating playing against Wizards employees sometimes because you have to pay money for your events and they don't and it's just like playing against the house, which is really obnoxious. Okay, so we have Elf, Mightstone... Talisman. I guess we could. Sure. <laughs> Good times. Elf. Yep. So they just replayed all the stuff that we knew about. Um, well... One, two, three, four, five. I kind of want to play a land here. Play 
Playing a land just kills this guy. They have six cards in hand now. That's a lot. That's an awkward amount. I said playing a land kills that guy. I mean, playing Gideon kills that guy. But we could also just keep Spell Pierce and play Metamorph to kill that guy. Um, put on top. Put on top. One, two, three, four. I don't know if Spell Pierce is going to be any good, but it's not like we have much else to do with the mana. Six cards in hand, huh? Pretty good. Yep, you got it. Baleful Strix in this very weird Gaia's Cradle Mox Emerald Island deck. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Thespian Stage Dark Devs. This deck is all over the place. Savannah. Um, put on top. Put on top. There we go. Green. This one. White, blue. Play you. Play you. All right. I think they got Dark Depths in hand. Of course they do. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you have it in hand? Why wouldn't you just naturally have that in hand? Oh, good times. Hmm. Put on top. Put on top. Fantastic. Oh, boy. Well, we can't actually, um, can't actually attack here because then they just make a merit lage in response. So I'm pretty sure we just lose this match. Yep, cool. Interesting. Yeah, I guess we'll embark here and hope we hit a solitude. We did not hit a solitude. We did hit an Atali. Atalitude. That's not the same at all. We do have a treachery on the top, so if we can survive one turn, that'd be cool. 
Gideon has hexproof though. Oh, this is interesting. Interesting. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana. I wish we had eight because treachery plus spellbinder is. Okay, if they're just going to tap out for the most part, that's pretty cool. Oh, this could be interesting. Okay, what is this? Natural order? Tap five, play Major's Bobble. A bold strategy, Cotton. Is it going to be natural order? Tinker. Sphinx of the Steel Wind. This is this is going very well for our for our opponent. <laughs> uh, they are tapped out though, however, so that's something. Jesus Christ. This is this is this is unreasonable, man. We can force a vigor treachery. Um we can't force a vigor this guy. It's got pro red and pro green, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, we're not going to do anything about this idiot. Okay, we have a turn here to do some shenanigans. Uh, we are definitely going to let them draw whatever they whatever they get. They have nine cards in their library. If only there was a way to take advantage of that. Uh, Yes. Uh, you can play what? Humans and Angels? That guy's a human. So I'll put that on top, and then I'll put that on top of that. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Mountain, Treachery, steal one of these idiots. Probably the Sphinx, because it's untapped. Then play a Tali. Or we can play Force of Vigor and Spellbinder. Force of Vigor gets rid of, like, Palantir and Baleful Strix, or... It's not super exciting. There's, like, 130 people watching, and, like, no one has said anything for so long. It's kind of funny. It's always weird when you have a significant amount of people, but no one is saying anything. It's very, very interesting. So many options here. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to. Pretty sure we have to Atali here. If only we could give some of these guys haste. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, we know there's a. There's probably a crater hoof somewhere, right? I don't. I don't know if Spellbinder does anything. Maybe we hit the crater hoof. Wouldn't that be interesting? Let's go mountain. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Steal this thing because it's untapped and that's extremely relevant here. One, two, three, four, five. If we play kin and it's actually free, right? When a when you tap a non-land permanent for mana, so we can actually go blue, green. This adds two, and Noble Hierarch adds two, and we're going to tap them anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's free. That's just a free creature. One, two, three, four, five. Let me hit that. Let me hit that crater hoof off your deck. Yes! <laughs> that's that's how you do it. That's how you do it. That was a game. Oh man, you didn't even let me do it. You're not even gonna let me attack. Man, that's that's classless. Come on, dude. Come on. That was good times. Jeez. 
I kind of like burst lightning here to just shoot their little stupid idiots. And I might even like Hero of Blade Hole just because it seems like being aggressive would be beneficial to us. Oh man, Atali into Crater Hoof. Absolute sickest. I'm going to take Ren out and bring in this. We can take... I guess Spell Pierce for Burst Lightning. I don't love it, but it might just be more important to get their stupid Mana Dorks out of the way. Wow, that was sick. That was like the sickest. Oh, wow. This, however, is not the sickest. It gives us all our colors, so if we start hitting things, I can't imagine like we're going to do better with a six-card hand. They're on the play, and they went to six. We're going to keep this. We're going to ramp really, really, uh, really aggressively here. And then we're going to start playing four and five drops. Oh, wow, bird. You heard? That's not what we're looking for, but that's okay. <laughs> that's a good time. Palantir. Tinker. Mishra's Bobble. Oh, we have a Metamorph. That's pretty good. So we're going to take a hit, but... we can. It's morphin' time. Um, yeah, we'll just play that. That seems better. Sure. Wow, this is a, this is a ridiculous hand here. You're just throwing it all away, huh? That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we can get rid of an island here. Uh, let's go you. One, one, two, three. Copy this idiot. We're definitely just blocking. Easy. Good deal. We could also take in six, played Hierarch next turn, and started attacking for seven. Kogla, <laughs> you got it. Jesus Christ, they're, they're like haymakers just never end. They have like 14 combos in their deck. Can't even play these now because they'll just actually kill them. <sighs> just nonstop, nonstop runners. It's obnoxious. Go get your Mox Emerald. Oh, Skull Lamp. <laughs> Fucking of course. <laughs> it never ends, dude. I'm really glad this is round one, because good times, man. Good times. Fantastic. It's their hand is gas. It's just nonstop gas.
Yep, draw your card. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are one, one away from this. Oh, Lord. And if they attack, we have to block because otherwise this is 10. So we have to block. And if we play either one of these or both, they'll kill one. So we lose two, which leaves us one, two, three, four, five, six, and only one red. Like just like it's just it's it's just sometimes you'd I don't know, man. Kill birds over Elvish Mystic. Fascinating. Like, your deck has enough to tinker into Sphinx of the Steelwind on, like, turn two. And then also have enough Skull Clamp activations to draw cards. And also enough mana to cast Kogla. Cool. You got it. Congratulations. Congratulations on making more money for Wizards of the Coast. You just you just robbed your opponent of of some play points. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. Like, I want Wizards employees to be able to play, but I feel like you should always, if you play against the Wizard employees, it should it should always count as a win. Like, you play the match, and they can win, and it counts towards a win for them, but it should also count as a win for you, because otherwise it's like a casino, and you're just playing against the house, right? Like, it's a weird feeling. Like, Wizards is made up of a lot of ex-pro players, right? They're really good Magic players. And so, like, when they're playing against you, like, you know, God, look at these fucking hands. Sure. Keep two lander with nothing to do. Yeah. Yeah, it just put me in a bad, like, that just kind of put me in a bad mood because, like, they just literally had it every time and... Oh, well, I guess we're dead. All right, all right. Not the most, uh, not the fastest hand, because we had to mulligan a lot of our uh, acceleration, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure they'll discard nothing of importance that's really detrimental to us. Or they just attack, maybe. Awkward situation where Knight of Autumn doesn't do much. Maybe we just make it a 4-4. Four -four. Who knows? This is where they go discard Necromancy. And then I'm like, oh, aren't I stupid? How silly of me. Oh, they're just going to play Orcish Bowmasters here. Nope, they're just going to get land. Okay. I'm still, I'm still on the... Um, Discard a fat creature, play necromancy plan, because that would be the perfect foil to the exact thing that I did. Ready? There it is. <laughs> oh, God. Never fails. Oh, okay. It's just a grist, I guess. All right. Well, that's not as bad as... Okay. Okay. We... we... Okay. We can't do anything. Fantastic. We'll just watch. Watch magic being played. Sure. Okay. Let's play Omnathemus.
I'm really hoping to dodge a... Wait, what just happened? Oh. Yeah, sure. Let's get a land. Um... We got a planes. Wait, who did they deal the? They just didn't target anything because they knew they were going to kill our Omnath. That's kind of funny. The arrogance. What's going on here? Hold on. She got seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. I have six. I'll pay one. Oh, it'd be three green, so I still have to pay two. Oh, should have got a forest then. What a big dumb idiot. Yeah, I don't have three green. So I don't really want to play her for <sighs> that's stupid. <laughs> yep. I'm not making the point against myself. I'm making the point of a general feeling. I'm not making the point saying I am disadvantaged because these, pe these people are all pros. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that it's a weird feeling. It's like if you go to a casino and I guess like all the games are run by the house. Like they're not play, like you're not playing games of skill against a casino. Right. So it's kind of weird, but if it's like, if all the people, at the poker table were professional poker players hired by the casino. That's a weird feeling. Regardless of if you yourself are a poker player, the sentiment feels weird. Because I'm, I'm like paying and spending resources to play vintage cube. But they're not. So my losses feel worse than their losses. Well, this is getting problematic. Um, I'm not actually sure what we can do about Liliana here. We can play Showdown, try to hit a land. Okay, we did hit a land. Interesting. You use the Liliana ability before I blocked. Well, she's at seven, so like we literally have to find an answer on the top of our deck now. We did not. Okie dokie. Well. You're just going to plus one percent for each forest you control and gain trample. That might be a thing, right? What do we have? Three forests? This is a fourth forest. One, two, three. Again, we don't... Oh, uh, this is actually four forests. So this is, makes them... 14 damage. They have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, that seems correct. We have to kill Anissa to do it. They have one card in hand, and we lose a Solitude, and we lose our Stowaway, though. That's kind of obnoxious. We have Solitude here and Soul Herder here, which would be super good. Ugh. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that not it? Damn it, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> uh, put a counter on the lifelinker, I guess. They could also just have a removal spell as their last card in hand. That would be nifty. Destroying artifact or enchantment does nothing. Yeah, this would be amazing if we could just keep this. Attack Liliana with both. Yep. Miss Gains is 8 2. It puts us in a better position for sure. I wonder if they don't know the trample. Oh, they just figured out the trample. Oh, they did not figure out the trample. All right. Um. Oh, we get another. No, until the end of your next turn. Why? Why? It should be like when until until this is no longer in play. That would have been better. We cannot beat a Lily Emblem. It's it's it, that's a. That's a struggle for sure. Do they want to trade their grist and their insect for this 3-3? Three, three? No, they do not. Bird of Paradise. Okay. Interesting. Let's hit Natali off the top. Wouldn't that be nifty? That's a volcanic island. That's kind of like an Atali, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So we're like one shy of doing all three of these. Definitely tempted to cycle Zagoth Triome. We have Scale Lord in our deck, right? Kennen? Yeah. Kennen's actually decent on the next turn for sure. Uh, so white, white, blue, blue. Let's go Gideon. Kinnon. We should have played Kinnon first. That way Kinnon gets a counter. But now we got a 6-6, six, six, which is basically like Worm Coil Engine, right? We're also at a pretty healthy life total here, at least. Next turn, activating Kinnon's pretty good. Just look at the top five, right? All right, Primeval Titan's a thing. Dark Depths, Thespian Stage. <laughs> okay. White Source, that's fascinating. Killing Gideon, that's fine. I think Kinnon is actually more threatening here. Especially if we hit Scale Lord. How much does this guy cost? Look at the top five cards. You're going to put a non-human creature. Yeah, that seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Atali? Sigarda. Yeah, Kinnon getting, um, I think we just attack into the Primeval Titan. Unfortunate that we're drawing this, but also kind of fine. Um, yeah, we'll blink you, sure. Yeah, other guys getting Kinnon getting hexproof is kind of nice because it means we can keep activating. I'm sure there's going to be a point where they can just gristle brand. 
I mean, they have to have reanimation cards in their in their deck somewhere if they got a gristle brand in there. And here it is. Yep. <laughs> oh lord. Give me strength. Yep. Draw seven more. Go to two. Maybe I got a way to kill you. Sure. Yes, there are a good number of cards from Wilds of Eldraine, but I don't know their names, and I'm, I could probably go over them after, but not during the match. This is actually not the worst. They have three cards in hand. That's kind of fine. My kingdom for an Atali, huh? They're going to sacrifice that deep root murph. Yep. Yeah. Oh, land. Sacrifice permanent. Sure. Oh, there's the boy. There's the dude we were looking for. Um, so we actually make this a 7-7, seven, seven, and then we can attack and put a 7-7 seven, seven into play, which means we can Phyrexian Metamorph to copy Gristlebrand. So that's kind of cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's if there's an Atali, I'm gonna be really gonna be really Oh, it's just this guy in five. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh give it to this guy. Oh yeah, what are we hitting here? This is, we got Knight of Autumn, Omnath, Gideon Jura, Nyssa, Showdown, Metamorph. I think it's gotta be Metamorph copying Gristlebrand, right? It even gets Hexproof. Also, we can keep blinking this to put counters on other things. So we're kind of, we're kind of doing dream, living the dream here. Big Grizzler. <laughs> oh, we can actually blink the Metamorph to give it a copy. Oh, we're blinking the Guardian to put a copy on Gristlebrand. Oh, that's interesting. Fascinating. They're like, well, we finally need to get rid of this. Okay. Well, I'm at 34. So I think we do pay seven here. Because then we get to play Talisman and maybe a different land and maybe a different Talisman. We just get a bunch of mana. <laughs> There's the Atali. One, two... Talisman. This makes two. So we can actually go green, green. Talisman. This is a human. So that's neat. I think it's actually Sylvan Library here. Followed by Vantage. And that, that felt pretty okay. Blink the Scale Lord again. And we'll put a counter on uh, probably Sigarda. Oh, they're v they're v tutoring. They got a damnation.
I wonder if they're like, I don't have that many good cards left in my deck. Okay, well, they took it. Oh boy, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I mean, they have to, they can only hit Sigarda here, right? Okay. They have to hit Sigarda and their own swamp? Sure. That seems fine. And then they both get exiled, so this guy gets some counters. I still have a Gristlebrand. I mean, that was good, but our board seems fine. Plus, we get this Atali. How many lands? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Collective Brutality to choose. What are they choosing? Oh, you just get a sorcery? Yeah, you get nothing. You get nothing! So they have no cards in hand. That seems good for us. However, Ulamog has to be able to not attack here. <sighs> oh. Otherwise, I take two and they draw. I don't feel like I need this many lands. We do have treachery somewhere. I think it might be in the next three, though, because we bottomed two sets of five, and I think it was in the first set. So it actually might be in the top three, because that would leave four cards left, and I don't think it's in the bottom four. So let's grab a treachery right now. It wasn't there. That's awkward. <laughs> um, I think we shuffle these two and crack Windswept Heath to shuffle. We could also, like, just put these on top. Actually, these are both humans. We can play... Oh, we can't. We don't have Cigar anymore. So let's put you on top. Put you on top. Play this. Crack it. All right. So this... Treachery's in there. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. 12, 13. 13 mana. Well, I think, I think cracking... I think cycling this is probably fine. Damn it. All right, now we have a Tali. So, three, four, five. One more? This one. Recurring Nightmare from them. Coalition Relic for us. What does that get for us? Nothing really. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, what can you return? Wait, I'm waiting. Omnath does draw, but now we don't. Oh, I guess we do have enough mana. Uh, what do we sacrifice? The knight to get Omnath. No, that does it. No, that that's good. Omnath draws us a card. It's we have a twenty five percent chance of hitting. That is something. It's not nothing. Omnath, sack this guy. All right, treachery. Fuck no work. <sighs> I think we just lost because of this stupid Ulmog man. That's unreal. Uh, if I draw with Gristleblind with three cards in my library, I die. So, not ideal. Oh, we do get a blink from Atali. That's true, too. So, and I'm pretty sure our, our deck is like Mana Confluence. 
All right, let's get in there. We don't have any flyers, right? This is just seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. Yep, we'll get that guy back. Uh, do they have anything we can destroy? Lifelink creature? Sure. Oh my god, this is like... This is a game right here, man. Alright, we're blinking a Tali. Come on, one time. Oh, yes, there it is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> wow, saved by the bell, my man. And then we get to untap lands. One more. There it is. We have two cards in our library, but that should do it. Yep, that's fine. I don't think they have any creatures that we really care about. They have Gristlebrand and birds and worm coil and ophiomancer like the, the graveyard's not super exciting here we do have like 11 minutes on the clock to their 16 get back oh they can get back grist i mean that's fine What are they destroying? Ulamog? Ulamog's indestructible, so that's not going to do it. They're getting Deep Hermit, sure. I mean, I don't have any, I don't think I have any plays here. I'm just going to have six to save myself some, some precious seconds here. Man, this was a game, dude. Yep, sack the Hermit, get back. Gristlebrand. I mean, as long as I can turn this dude sideways, we're Gucci. And I have, I'll have one card in my library when I do it. Yep. Big Grissy. Mox. I don't... Uh, no, I don't want to use this ability. <laughs> That would kill me. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> well, gave it gave it to the very end there. Uh, Spell Pierce does seem decent. Wow, that was a oh man. Oh. Oh my god. Treachery coming in clutch. Well, when you only have three cards left in your library, I knew one of them was a mana confluence. So Yeah. I mean, actually, it's funny because if if treachery was on the bottom, we would have killed ourselves. Because we wouldn't have had any more cards to draw. Hmm. All right. Let's uh Well, that's a mulligan. And that's a bit better. Not fantastic, but a bit better. Uh, I get rid of steam vents. Give me that. Oh, this could just be a this could be a quick one. Oh, I like a suspicious stowaway. They could just go discard gristle death. Yep, take two. Mox, take take none. Liliana, this this old this old chestnut again, eh? Okay, 
Well, suspicious stowaway just got significantly worse. Like, we don't even play it now, right? Like, that's just silly. I mean, we have two talismans and a noble hierarch. Noble hierarch's not going to be great, though. But, I mean, it's really unfortunate that we can't get our our talismans to start ramping into four and five drops, which we have plenty of. It's too bad they didn't target their own putrid imp. Well, all right, next turn we're just going to mana confluence and nomnath. They only have three cards. Are they mulligan? No, they played seven. Interesting. So they have double hermits, they have deep forest and deranged. Dubs hermits. Uh, let's go green, red, white, blue. I don't think there's anything we can draw that can stop this Liliana from going ultimate. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely consider subscribing or following. Those are great ways to help out. I am usually streaming five days a week, so it's a great way to get notifications and see when I go live. This is a lot of damage as well. And we are at six. All right, yep. Let's save ourselves some time and just go to the next one. Um, actually, I wonder if Hero Blade, like I, I just want to draw Talisman, Talisman, Noble Hierarch, or Sakura Tribelder before they go ham on us, that's all. Let's take Showdown out, I think. Okay, got it, got it. Got all of our colors here. Okay, blue green. I think it's talisman here. Like this feels like the least likely thing they can kill too, which is nice. Oh, that's that's good for us. This is a nice slow opening for them. Um So we can go blue green. Bonder. James Bonder. James Bonder. This guy. This guy. That seems fine. One, two, three, four, five. This is six mana. We're very close to just starting to activate his ability. Okay. That Liliana was nice and late. Uh, Talisman is basically free... One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, actually, I'm keeping all three of these, I think. So put on top, or all two of them, rather. Pay this one. So one, two, talisman, double white, green, colorless. Uh, put two counters on it. Let's see what you got here. Recurring Nightmare, Deep Forest Hermit, Braids, Necromancy, and Worm Coil Engines. You have nothing to reanimate. Braids is the most obnoxious thing, and you can't really even play it, so I'll take Braids. So now we have a bunch of mana and we can start activating kin in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is pretty good. Just putting in free creatures. 
milled two. <laughs> that didn't do it. All right, forest. Recurring nightmare with nothing in the graveyard and nothing on the board. Great. Gideon, um, just taking one, two, th one, two, three, four. Is it just taking Gideon? Do we actually take? We might just take life here and take Gideon and Coalition Relic. I don't think it's Triome. Maybe it's not even Gideon. One, two, three. We play this. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put on top. Uh, one, two, three. Play this. Play you. Activate you. Double green. Uh, blue. One, one. We have a lot of creatures. And we whiffed. <laughs> All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Liliana's at two. Attack Liliana. Attack your face. Attack your face. Is it look at or reveal? Look at the top five. Okay, so I don't actually have to show them what I whiffed on. Yeah, that's a good little hermit. Also, if we hit something like a Tali in the top three, we can just leave it there. Tribe Elder. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 10 mana. This is seven. I kind of want to keep these two. Put this one back. So now we can go one, two, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's do that. Try Builder. Shuffs. Let's get another white source. Activate you for blue. Green. Oh, I guess we can keep one up, huh? Oh, oh, let's do this guy. Oh, <laughs> and Solitude gets rid of their hermit. So this guy, this guy, I'm not going to attack with you. You're just too good, to be honest with you. Yeah, that seems fine. And we do get to keep up Spell Pierce. I'm pretty sure they're going to play um, Worm Coil here, but then we have Phyrexian Metamorph for Solitude and we can activate again. So that's pretty decent. I think we're actually winning this game. Liliana, huh? Uh, sure. Oh, they're going to... Oh, they're going to discard something big and then get it back. We're going to get rid of Metamorph. Because they're going to try to necromancy here. Oh, they have a Recurring Nightmare on board. I didn't... I, I must have forgotten about that. Because I'm not very good at this game. Yeah. Definitely that. Okay. Well, we still got use out of the spell piers. I just forgot about the recurring nightmare. There's a lot of things happening. I'm trying to win with five minutes on the clock. Hmm. Soul Herder, huh? Oh, Nissa. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll just win with Nissa. Do we have enough green? We sure do. Put on top... Put on top. Um, plus two, plus two, and trample for everything. Yeah, let's do that. So we got green, green, green. Is that one, one, two, three? And I got a seven. This has to be lethal, right? They gained six, they got a 17. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, that was a that was a good match. We can activate his holly, but they can just block. 
right? And then they then they don't get the poison counter, so not as good. Final round. I think that round two was phenomenal. So if if we have a bad a bad round where we get comboed out and it's really disappointing, I think it's fine. One two with a deck like this. It is what it is, right? This is not the most degenerate deck, but we had some sweet plays with Atali getting treachery when we have three cards left in our library. Like, you know, there's just some some cool shit that's happening. <laughs> oh, boy. Also, six, looks looks like six people left between when I went to the bath, between the end of that round and when I got back from the bathroom. And I, I can't understand how you would be watching this deck this masterpiece and wanting to leave and not, and not being, not waiting to see how it ends. You know, that sounds, those people must be psychopaths, clearly serial killers. But yeah, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I'm two subs away from this sub goal. I'm trying to hit a sub goal daily and it's only five. It's a super low sub goal, but you know, it's something. So if you guys want to consider subscribing, really appreciate it. I'm here five days a week. This hand's actually great. This is probably one of the better hands I've seen us have. The problem is we only have one, um, one white currently. So I think we want to go get a white. We could also get a Zagoth Triome here because it, it comes into play. Oh, we can get Rogren Triome. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'd rather have green white. Oh, it's not green rather. Uh, but it, we we have the green and the talisman is, is really we have we want double white, which is we can get from mana confluence and Rogren. They probably do. They leave before the end credits of Marvel movies, I'm sure. Uh let's get Rogren. Well, I'm gonna if we want to do two, we're gonna have to play confluence here. So we're gonna have to go this and this. And I imagine. Opening on Mountain is rough because I'm pretty sure they're just going to burn our faces. Oh, never mind. Things have changed. Well, that's interesting. All right, so we're going to play this. Take two. I think it's probably better to get Giddy down here. And next turn, if we hit a land, we can play Sigarda and Hierarch. Which is nice. That's nice. I am a little bit a little bit afraid of this. Call of the Ring has been great every time I've played against it, or I've played it rather, every time I've played it. You are here more than five days a week. Maybe. Even better reason to sub, you know? Alright. Night of the Night of Autumn would be great here. Uh okay. That's a fascinating choice. Okay, it was a land. <laughs> it's not the land we're looking for. Make a guy, play as a gothy, and then go white, green, this one, and this one, play a Sigardi McGardy. Okay, we are going to get another land. Oh, I guess we got... No, oh, we don't have Civil Library in play, though. Hexproof for everything is pretty good. Bitter Blossom is pretty obnoxious. Sweet ring bear, bro. Yeah, this the abilities this gives you as it just incrementally crime, climbs every single turn is just really good. Like, it basically acts as a Frexian arena as long as you have a creature. Uh, you get to draw a card as long as you can assign someone the ring bear. Um, it costs one more life, but that's usually not a huge deal because you're only drawing a handful of cards. Uh, it makes the guy pseudo unblockable. This is actually fine. Uh, we can discard noble hierarch here. Um, then it starts dealing you three damage when the creature gets through, and then it also kills blockers. It does a lot of things. Uh, showdown at the scalds. 
Interesting. Do we just deal like, what is five, six, and nine? This is 11 damage. I think we just deal 11 here. Interesting. You block the four instead of the five. I guess they have a lightning bolt in hand. They're going to kill Sigarda. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's go one, two, and yep, there it is. And that's fine. I mean, it's fine in the sense that, like, we can't do anything about it, so it has to be. What up, HMWD? HMWD, explain your name to me. I'm always curious when I see, like, letter, 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 number, number, number name. And I wonder what the origin of that name is. I think screen names on the internet are very fascinating. Okay, you got a little a little runaway steamy boy. Oh, a little figure guy. Okay. Two cards in hand. Have money will draft 138. That's I would not be surprised if that's the actual. Oh man, I love that you said that. I'm a I'm a sucker for Art Deco everything. It's one of my favorite art, uh, I guess movements we'll say. Um, let's put on the top. Put on the top. We'll play Showdown. One, two, three, four. Actually, we know we're hitting planes. So we'll make this in the red. Not planes. Uh, yeah, well, we're hitting planes in uh, Savannah, I guess it was the other one. Or Plateau. I think it was Plateau. So we're hitting at least two lands. Oh, I like a Kinnon. Also a Rennie boy. Hmm. It's really awkward that there's just nothing worth copying with Metamorph here. It's only new control is a 3-3. We don't we're not gonna have the lands to make that a 3-3. We're definitely playing Plateau. Let's just play a Plateau. We can play Kinnon. And then then we can activate Kinnon next turn, actually. So that's pretty cool. We can go blue, green, if he survives. Kinnon survive. Um, yeah, might as well get in there with this guy. Like, if they block, they block. If they don't, they go to six when they got Bitter Blossom out, so... This is a fine trade. I still take one, too. That seems good. All right. Well. Just this guy, which is going to let you loot. I 
Uh, no blockers. They're at six. We take we take three to nine. Like what a bunch of great abilities. Good gravy. Don't kill my kin. They didn't kill my kinnon. That's great. Oh! <laughs> so we keep treachery. Hold on. Put this guy on the top. Put this guy on top of that. I mean, treachery is not even great here. How does how is stealing the ring bearer work? Is he then a ring bearer for you? I guess I don't have, yeah, I guess I don't have the ring bearer, so. Oh, yeah, sure that. Trigger that. Um, what if they have an answer to this guy, though? Then we're just, then we're just throwing treachery away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Activate you. Yeah, we're not going to treachery. None of these guys are worth treacherying. Treacherying. We know it's a Tali. Man, that's solitude would have been nice there. Grim Lava Mancer and Knight of Autumn. Okay. Cast any number of spells. Done. Uh, put your triggers on the stack. One on here. One on here. And this guy. And we're definitely going to destroy an artifact. Probably Call of the Ring, right? They're already at full, but they're, if we kill this guy, they're just never going to get another ring bearer, so. Play a land for the turn. I mean, they kind of have to win this turn. One, two, three, four, five. We go to four. Presuming they don't, they have to block actually too. Because if they just block here, they still take six and die. They have to block two creatures. Oh, they got an answer. Wow, I'm really surprised you did not kill Kinnon before I activated him. Okay, they stay at six. And Grim, Grim, Grim Lava Mancer actually seems like it might be a uh, worthwhile. If it loses being a ring bearer, actually, maybe we should have taken it and then and then played a tolly. I think that would have been, I think that would have been better. And they might just attack here to loot because that's important. And they pitch. Dragon's Rage Channeler, no blocks. So we're taking four here. We're going to five, which is a little scary. Okay, you have one card other than Lotus Petal. All right. Braids. That's not going to do it. Okay. All right, they have no cards in hand. Great. So third virtual four. This guy is Trample. This is the second person that's played Braids, right? 
It's just not impressive. Yeah, I'll just get rid of Talisman. <laughs> Oh, we just win. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm just not going to give you access. When you're dead on board, I'm just not going to give you access to more cards. That's not a thing. That's not a thing we're doing. Force of Vigor actually seems great against them. We saw Bitter Blossom, Call of the Ring, and Mana Vault. Maybe more, who knows? But I'm game. Uh, I'm going to take Ren and Realm Breaker out. I think it's been pretty bad. It's also just not a card we've needed. I think maybe Burst Lightning is actually decent against them. They have a bunch of little shitters. Yeah, all right, I can see Burst Lightning. Why not? Okay, turn to Sakura Tribelder. Where's that Hero Blade holding you, you know? Give me a, give me actually a turn one. Give me like draw a noble hierarch. Okay. Turn three cigar is pretty good. We'll get an island with this tribe boy. Oh, what up, Chorwit? They're going to pump. I feel like we're already lagging quite a little bit. Quite a little bit. You heard it here first. Oh, Grimothy. Oh, my dear Grimothy. Well, figure's kind of a pain. Dill pickle chips. Spoken like a true Canadian. Eating the wacky flavors. Do you pump them anyway? Wow, really? Okay. Interesting. Oh, that probably should have been a... Oh, we have a red. Okay. I was like, that should have been a red. I've made a terrible mistake. Um... Four, four is pretty rough. Chandra. That's pretty good. Well, isn't that fantastic? All right. Well, this game is going This is the this is the game we actually had a two drop into a four drop and this is the game where we're getting shrecked. Play this guy. Play this guy. Let's look at your deck and your hand and your things. Dark Ritual, Phyrexian Revoker. I'll just take the Revoker, I guess. Um, next turn we can play Scale Lord, target this guy, and then get back a Sigarda if we survive. We're taking like seven here, but... We do want to keep Spellbinder alive. Electric Pickle Chips. Oh, dear. Did you just literally hit something that you can Dark Ritual? That's kind of cool. Mountain, okay. And now you're adding... You're exiling the top card before you Dark Ritual? That's fascinating. Braids. Oh, I guess you needed the black. Sure, that makes... That's fine. Well, we'll be taking that. This is just when you attack, right? Oh, that's great, because we can kill Chandra and... One, two, three, four, five, six. We have enough mana. So we can sack a land. What do you even name here? Talisman, I'm sure. Actually, you might just name something else that's more threatening than just a talisman when you have so much mana. Gideon Ally of Zendikar. Sure. They're going to sack a mountain because they just don't need it. Uh, 
we'll probably sack a planes if they do. They can also just sack yeah, all right, figured. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Put it on you. Kill Chandra. Get back Sagarda. Oh, Knight of Autumn could be good if we can survive this turn. It's definitely going to be a block here, block 3-3 three, three situation. We take three. But they're in, pretty much they're in top deck mode now, so if we can fade like one turn, it's pretty okay. I'm definitely blocking figure with with Sigarda because then we just get it back. Uh, I guess we can't get it back yet, but oh, interesting. Yeah, block you, block you. I mean, we get a free tribe builder if we attack, which is a free block. We're at three, and Grim doesn't kill us. So did their top deck kill us? And we gain four from the Knight of Autumn on the top, which is great. We can also play Coalition Relic, then play Knight of... Oh, that's fantastic. All right, we are doing quite well. Oh, they didn't kill this, which is shocking to me. Uh, Riss. And we're going to go like this. Thank you. Oh, Nick Squirt, welcome with, back with the resub, my dude. Appreciate you. As a 4 2, and we're at 7 now. Thank you. They could deal us 4. We go to 3. We have a blocker, and we're getting back a tribe elder. Guardian Scalor is pretty sweet, dude. Stuart, what are you doing awake, my man? <laughs> Oh my god. Stuart on with the gifted sub. My my dude. My dude. What are you doing? It's like 2 a.m. there. Oh my god. This is nice because we can just get him back next turn, so. Works for me. Or we can get Night of Autumn. Like being able to keep recurring Night of Autumn is pretty good. I just had to be <laughs> I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I end up peeing like four times when I'm streaming because it's like I'm just nonstop drinking water. Um, yeah, we're gonna crack this guy. Get another basic. Let's get another green because we have Nissa. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. We can cast a Nissa. We have eight mana. We can cast a Nissa. Do we just Just a big fat seven mana Nissa. How many forests we got? Three? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's not gonna do it. We'll just make a eight eight. Wow, Guardian Scalord is phenomenal. <laughs> The peeing was unrelated to the subs. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, it would be great if, like, every time you had to pee, um, you had to gift me subs as well. Like, it was a compulsion. Okay, so we go to... we. I'd say we go to three, but they actually only have one card, and their, in their hand is a swamp. So, yeah, that's fine. The, the non-bow between Lava Mancer and Dragon's Rage Channeler. I mean, great for me. Less great for you, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can probably win here. I mean, we can play Showdown and look for another forest. One, two, three, four. And then give all our guys like plus four, plus four. 
And we found one in Triome and Temple Garden. So, interesting. So we'll just play the Triome here. And then I think we're just going to plus here, right? Gets four plus four plus four for everybody? Sure. Yeah, they have no cards. 2-1 with this ridiculous first pick Omnath deck. Feels pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever videos are sold. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.